Now this is a, a 3 inch 432 by 240 resolution screen. It's very colourful. Uh, one of the best screens I've seen for a long time actually. It uh, supports an awesome 16.7 million colours and the punchiness is absolutely fantastic. When I start to show you some of that media playing back on here you'll be very impressed indeed. Now let's just close that pop round to the back and uh, this uh, has an 8.1 megapixel camera it's also got an LED flash here so we're going to get some nice photos with this I've been very impressed actually with the um, with the camera it really does deliver some decent results uh, as well as uh, autofocus and the flash you also get f uh, face detection uh, touch to focus on that screen so you can touch the area you want to focus in on and video recording. Uh, back round to the actual other features of the phone, the Bluetooth serves up your voice calls and also supports A2 DP stereo. You also get FM radio, GPS and Wi-Fi. Now let's show you a little bit of this uh, menu system when it's in portrait mode and uh, if I click the middle button then you're presented with a very nicely laid out menu and from here we start in the top left we can go to the play now feature into the internet browser which is a, a pretty nice browsing experience nothing to shout about you've also got separate Google Maps application in the entertainment folder we've got some uh, interactive media radio track ID play now remote play now this is something worth mentioning um, the iNo actually supports remote play which means that you can hook it up uh, via Wi-Fi to play uh, content that's stored on your PS3 so you could get your photos, music and videos and display those actually on the mobile phone screen. Um, it does work fairly well, I'll come on to that later on. We've also got some games just to quickly show you Crazy Penguin and Quadrapop included on the handset and we can record sounds or there's a photo mate application which gives you tips on how to take great photos with the Sony Ericsson iNo. Let's pop back out to the main menu again and we've got the camera. Now I'm going to be showing you the camera in a separate video so I'm not going to go into that. We've got messaging, again I'm going to cover the texting ability in a separate video and media playback, again I'm going to be covering that in the second video. And then down to this icon here, location services, we've got a choice of the near me service, Google Maps, navigation it does include a navigation application a tracker favorites and settings and then we've got contacts directory we've got music player again I'm going to cover that in a separate video settings in here you can delve into general settings sound and alerts display calls connectivity and also a user manual and then we've got an organizer application and also a call log so a nicely laid out menu and then let's have a look at the keyboard area closer for you. We've got two soft keys here which correspond to whatever's displayed on the screen at the time. In this case it will go into the media application or into the search. We've got a call start and a call end button. The call end button also doubles up as the power on off switch. We've also got an orientation button here, a clear button so when you're in texting you can go back one space and then you've got the numeric keypad underneath. It's a fairly flat keypad but the fact that the keys are quite large does make it a fairly good experience for texting and also dialing in phone numbers. Now something I did mention very early on in this review is the touch screen. When you close the handset, turn it round into landscape mode, you can actually start to use the touch screen. Whilst it's in the portrait mode it doesn't accept touch input but in this closed mode it certainly does. And here you can access your photos. And this is actually uh, loading up the camera. And as I said before, I'm going to cover the camera in a separate video, so I'm not going to show you that now. Let's go back out to that main menu. And then here we've got the gallery, so you can see some of the photos that I've already taken. 
Let's just give you a quick look at one of these just so you get an idea of the quality. I think that's a fairly good photo, not bad at all, but again I'll take a closer look at that in the uh, second video. And it's a fairly good touch screen, sometimes you have to prod it more than once, uh, but certainly for the most it does work very well. Then we've got music, we've got videos, and we've got the FM radio, which is the tuners already built into the handset. Now, what I'm going to tell you now is that this is certainly a regular looking handset until you take a look at this gorgeous screen this is what really sets it apart and also that dock and the Bluetooth um, uh, receiver also helps to make this a, a worthy contender for your pocket now what I do like is the awesome screen I like the battery life which is giving me two to three days between charges the touch user interface is, is lovely it has a lovely design and the fact that the iNo supports remote play, and I, I've got a PS3 myself, means that I can uh, use that remote play facility. So I, I do like that a lot. What I don't like is uh, touching on that remote play feature. Uh, again, it is great when it works, but it is a little bit flaky. It does lose the connection from time to time. Plus there's no real Mac support on the Sony Ericsson iNo. Call quality is good. Um, on a receiving end when I'm listening to calls coming in very clear indeed on the recipients end I've asked uh, various recipients and they say that the quality of the mic is extremely good I come through very loud and clear um, no breakups or anything like that and they say that this is one of the better uh, call quality handsets they've heard me testing over the uh, past few months comes in white or black cost is around 340 pounds in the UK for an unlocked SIM free version or $500 in the US. This is the Sony Ericsson iNo. Do check back on my channel uh, for the next video covering the uh, texting multimedia playback and camera on this handset. But for now I'll love you and leave you. Thank you very much for listening. Come back soon and check out more reviews on the Geekanoids channel. This video review is sponsored by BMI Solutions, the largest reseller of document scanners within the UK, with a price promise guarantee.